Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. And so today what I'm about to prepare for you is some lasagna. I have my mild Italian sausage, some ground turkey over here, and two links of Italian sausage. Well, I'm just gonna use this from last time. And then I got my ricotta cheese, some Parmesan cheese, some mozzarella cheese, and my sauce. And then I'm gonna make some garlic biscuits for you. This is my first time doing it, so we'll just see how that turns out. This is what I have on the menu for you guys today, and so let's just get to cooking. Okay, y'all, so we're just gonna start first by cutting our pepper. And so I'm pretty sure everyone knows how to cut a pepper, but if you don't, just um, follow how I do it. So what I do is I cut off that top piece, and then I just split it down the middle, and then cut um, those white pieces off in the inside. It's not mandatory, but that's just what I do. And so then I cut the peppers vertically in thin slices, and I just turn them the opposite way, and I cut them down that way and so it's just like you're cutting your peppers into like cubes and then i chop them up a little bit more just so they could be defined and so you can see i'm doing that now and so yeah and then you'll end up with a finely chopped pepper and so now i'm just gonna go ahead and cut up my onion and so my boyfriend bought an onion that was weird looking so i couldn't use my um usual technique on this and so i just did the best i could and so i just cut them like this and i just really just i just kept on chopping until them onions was um nicely chopped okay and so i just used half the onion for this one and so yeah these are how they end up looking and they look pretty good to me okay so this is the last thing i had to do to prep for our sauce and so since these italian sausages came in links i just cut them down the middle took that plastic thing off and so since this one wasn't grounded i just took my fingers and i just smushed it down and that'll do the job now to start on our sauce, I'm just going to take this little bit of olive oil that I have left and I'm just going to put that in the pan and my stove is on like seven right now. So medium high heat. And so then I'm going to add my onions and peppers and make sure you get every little last bit of them in there because we don't waste nothing around here. Okay. And so I'm just going to give them a good stir, make sure they aren't sticking and just let them cook up. Um, we don't want them brown this time. We're just going to want them to just cook for maybe like a minute or so and so then i'm going to add some creole seasoning just to layer this lasagna with flavor so we're going to start by layering um flavoring our um onions and peppers and so this is how they should look and so after they look like this we're going to go ahead and start to add in our meat so first i'm going to start by adding in that um italian sausage that i mushed down with my fingers so i'm adding all that in and then go ahead and start to break that down. And then next, what we're going to add, we're going to add in the one that already came um, grounded. And so that's what I do. I'm going to add that one in and then just go ahead and um, mash that one down and get it um, as much broken down as you can. Okay, so since the um, Italian sausage takes a little bit longer to get cooked than the ground turkey, we wanted to wait until the Italian sausage got cooked um, halfway through. And so now we're going to add in that um, ground turkey meat. And so we're just going to um, chop that up and get it well combined with the others. Okay, so after we let that um, cook a little bit, um, we're going to now start the season. So what I used was some Creole season, some onion and garlic powder. And um, just remember, I don't measure. So just let the Lord lead you at this point. And then we're going to add some Italian season. Um, the last two is going to be some salt. And then we're going to add some pepper. And that's it for this stage. But we are going to season a little bit more later on. Okay, so after our meat done cooked up, so this is the part that you want to pay attention to because now we're going to drain off some of that fat from those meats. And so what I do is I just, since I don't have a drainer to um just pour my meat into, this is what I do. I just um push everything to the back, all this um, meat, and then I just take out some of that sauce that you see. That's all the fat. And so you just take all of that out and you just leave a little bit, um, just to add a little flavor to it. Cause ain't nothing wrong with a little bit, but you don't want all of that in there. So that's what I'm doing right now. 
Okay, so now that we let our meat cook up, um, we gave it a good stir to mix all those seasons in. And so now we want to add in our spaghetti sauce. So I added some leftover spaghetti sauce that I had on the fridge. And so then I added the one that I currently bought, which is like a little small little bottle. And so I add those in and then you just want to give that a good stir and get everything well combined. Okay, so this is the point where I add my own little twist and my little take on how I want my spaghetti sauce to taste. So even though I love the taste of spaghetti sauce, I wanted to add some little barbecue sauce that I had left. And I just mixed my bottle around with water just because I didn't have a, lo a lot left. So I shook that up and then I just added that to my spaghetti sauce. And then now I'm going to add in like three good um, spoonful of uh brown sugar and what this does is it just add a little bit of spunk to this you know i don't want no plain old lasagna um lasagna i want something that has zarya written all over it you hear me okay okay now that we done spunked it up a little bit we're going to spunk it up even some more now and so we're just going to take all those seasons that i used before um on the meat and then we're just going to add them again to our sauce just to um add some flavor to that store bought spaghetti ain't nothing wrong with using store bought but you know you got to add your little twist and take to it and so one of the extra seasons that i did use on the sauce was some cayenne pepper just to get a little spice to it not it's not gonna make it spicy but it just add flavor okay okay so now that all of our seasoning is done to this sauce this is perfect this is how i want it so we're just gonna cover it and let it simmer for like maybe 35 to 40 minutes just to let those flavors settle in okay so now that our um sauce is over there sizzling we're going to go ahead and start on our pasta water just going to add some salt and butter to the water i would usually add some olive oil but as you can tell i had ran out earlier and so now that our water is boiling we're just going to add in our lasagna noodles make sure to turn down your stove to seven just so they don't over um boil well that's just what i do just so it don't stick and um boil up too fast and then i just go ahead and add in those lasagna noodles make sure you add them in different opposite ways just so they don't all stick to one another okay and so then we just want to make sure um we give that a good stir and then just cook them for like seven minutes until they're al dente and then you're good to go Okay, so now we're just going to start on our ricotta mixture. And so I just got ricotta cheese, um, this jar from Walmart. And so I'm just going to add that to my bowl, mix that up. And then I'm going to crack one egg into this. And I'm just going to beat my egg in there and then um, get that well combined in there. And so then we're going to add in all our stuff that you see. I'm going to add in some Parmesan cheese, um, some black pepper, and some Italian season and some sea salt. And so that's all you're gonna add into this. And then you're just gonna give that a good stir. And so I found it easier to use a spoon for this. And so that's what I'm doing. And you just wanna make sure it's well combined and it should look something like that. Okay, so now for the fun part. Our sauce is done, our noodles are cooked, and our ricotta is made. And so now we're just gonna start layering. So first what I'm gonna do is I'm going to layer the bottom with some sauce and so i'm just going to add a good amount of sauce down there not too much because you know that's just to get it not to stick at the bottom so i'm just going to add some sauce at the bottom and then my next layer is going to be some um noodles and okay so for my size pan three was able to fit that way and so then i just added one across like that and i just cut off that extra piece just to make sure that it fit evenly what i do next is i just add in my ricotta i add a good amount to each one of those um pasta noodles and i just spread them evenly okay so now i'm going to add in our meat sauce and then you just want to make sure that you get a good amount on um each layer and so that's what i'm doing and just spread that out and make sure it's evenly um proportioned to the noodles and then i'm going to add in my cheese and then i'm going to add in some parmesan cheese as well and then it's pretty much easy from here. Just going to keep repeat the same process, but I do want to make a note here that um, I put the three noodles on the opposite side now this way. And so that short piece is on the other end. And so we're just going to make sure that we alternate on each um, layer of noodles that we do. 
Okay, so overall, I did four layers of noodles, and so this is my last and fourth layer, and so I think I had enough ricotta for two of the layers, and that's fine because you don't need that much ricotta anyways, and so um, this is the last layer, so go ahead and dump all the rest of the meat sauce on top, and then we're just going to add some cheese on top. Okay, so for the cheeses, I use... Um, mozzarella cheese um like i've been using for before and then i just wanted to spice it up a little bit so i put some gouda sliced cheeses on there and just broke them up and then put some on top and then i added my parmesan cheese that i've been using before and the last step was to add in on top some parsley just to give it a little prettiness on top and that's it Okay, so just pop that in the oven for like 30 to 40 minutes at 350 degrees and it should come out looking like this. Okay, so finally for our biscuits, this is my first time making it, so we're just gonna wing it here. And so my sister wanted me to add some cheese on the inside, and so I just sprayed my pan, flattened out, flattened them out those biscuits, and then I'm gonna put some cheese in there. And then um, I did add a little bit of um, garlic powder inside the um, dough. And so I'm just gonna twirl those around into a little ball, and then like twist them together, just so it doesn't pop out. And then there you have it. Okay, and so I put those in the oven for about 15 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And so now I'm going to just work on the butter sauce while that's in the oven. I started with some butter, um, some parsley, Italian seasoning, and some garlic. And I think I used garlic powder. Yeah, I used garlic powder. So just mix that around and then I'm going to put that in the microwave and it should look something like this. And so I, what I did was I just poured that over the top of the biscuits when they was almost done. And then I'm just going to pop them back in the oven for maybe like a minute or two until they're like golden brown. Okay, so now I'm just about to cut into this lasagna and fix my plate. And oh my God, y'all, I did so good. Like, just look at how this looks. Look at the layers. It just looks so beautiful. Oh my God. <laughs> Today I have some lasagna, and so you see all the ingredients and how I prepared it. First time making the garlic bread, so we'll just see how that turns out. It should be good, but. And then to drink, I have some red wine because it's Sunday and I deserve to relax, okay? Take our sip. Say our grace. And we're about to get it in. Yo. Haven't made this in forever too, but one of my favorites for sure. Yes, and it's still hot. Love it. Here we go. Close up with that. First bite. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So good. And it's so hot, just like I love it. Let's go ahead and try out this bread. Mm. Let's see if we get any cheese action. Ooh. I'm having fun today, y'all. <laughs> okay, let's try it by itself first. So good. So good. I don't know why I put this on my lips. I'm trying to be cute. But it's about to come right off. It's all good, though. And so today, um, towards the middle, I'm going to answer a little bit of questions because I realize I haven't told y'all, like, basic stuff about myself. But look at this. Y'all just got to get a close-up of all these prices. Look at it. I did my thing. I did my thing. So hot. 
but so good. That should be enough. First meal of the day, and it's so good. So use this bread as a little spoon for your sauce. Okay. So good. This good old cheese, y'all love it. I am loving this right now. I'm loving it. 10 out of 10, guys. 10 out of 10. And as long as it's something you can eat messy, definitely, like, it don't matter. Ooh. So good, y'all. So good. So good. So I have a paper. I have a couple questions. Just some basic questions that you all should know by now, but I haven't did like a get to know me video, so that's my bad. But just a couple quick questions. Um, so first one is how old am I? So I am 22 years old. I just turned 22 in July. Um, my birthday is July 8th, um, and I was born in 2000. So that's how old I am. <clears throat> and where am I from? I am from Jonesboro, Georgia in Clayton County. You already know, repping the South Side, period. And yeah, I went to one middle school, one elementary school, one high school. So I've been around the same people my like whole life. And I did all four years at Georgia State. So I haven't really gotten out the box for real. Um, but yeah, so went to school in Clayton County, was really consistent.
And so I have down what's my favorite sport. And so tie in school. I only play sports in um, middle and high school. Um, so my favorite sport I would say is volleyball. I love volleyball. My sisters play, so I love to watch them play. I played and my mom coaches. So it's like it runs in the family type thing. And volleyball is really fun. If you sit down and just watch volleyball, it's so much fun. And like it's not hard to keep keep up with. Bump, set, spike to the other side, do the same thing, put up a block, you know, very easy to keep up with, um, versus like sports like football, which I really don't get. But, so I would say if it's like your first time watching, you don't understand. Yeah, I did my thing. I put my whole entire foot, literally my entire foot in there. And so I'm from Clayton County. I'm from Jonesboro, Georgia. But where's my family from? My family is from, well, my dad is from, he was born in Antigua, but raised in the Virgin Islands. And my mom, she was born in Trinidad, but she was raised in the Virgin Islands. So we can say they're both from the Virgin Islands, from the island. And so, yeah, that's it, really. <laughs> I'm trying to expand on the questions, but I really don't know how. Yeah, they're from the island, so they got some good food. That's why I love food so much because the food there and the food they make is so good. Like, my favorite dishes are, like, the curry shrimp that my mom makes, the snapper she makes. And so, yeah. Excuse me. Ooh, still steaming. So I have down. What's my favorite food? Okay, so I have a lot of favorite foods. I, I just love food so much. But I would say one I like to make is mac and cheese. I love mac and cheese. And seafood. Like salmon, shrimp. All that. That's always. I used to always say shrimp was my favorite food. But now it's like mac and cheese. So let's, let's go shrimp mac and cheese, right? Shrimp, seafood, mac and cheese. And I will make that for y'all one day. So let's go ahead and, you know put that out in the universe <laughs> so yeah that's something that i could prepare for you so one of my favorite foods favorite show yeah favorite show hold on let me take my first one my y'all i don't know what i'm talking about <laughs> i'm tripping okay oh uh... Okay, favorite show. Favorite show out on Netflix. I think they about to take it off, Vampire Diaries. I love Vampire Diaries. Got eight seasons. I probably rewatched it like maybe 20 times, literally. I watched it during my surgery. And so I was in the bed most of the time recovering. So that's when I really started to get into like TV shows. Cause before then I used to watch Disney Channel shows always. So that was one of the first long season shows that I watched. I love it. Great plot. Did a good job continuing throughout all the seasons, changing up the cast, all that. So if you haven't watched Vampire Diaries, go watch it. I'm promoting it. Go watch it. And so here is some bread with some meat. Uh. Oh shoot. Yeah, I swear I got a hole in my mouth. I do that all the time. It's all good. Okay, yeah. Favorite show? Vampire Diaries. The best. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. Yeah. Favorite movie? I have a lot of different movies that I like, but let me see. I don't even got to think about it. My all-time favorite movie is Hairspray. I literally just watched it the other day. It's a musical. I swear I was going to be a singer when I was um, younger, y'all. My mama and my whole entire family knows that I used to always watch singing competitions, singing shows, all that. And so I love Hairspray, great movie. If you haven't watched it, go watch it.
and that was the storyline the whole black white thing so it's a good movie your kids should watch it it's a it's a great movie favorite subject my questions are really basic but this helps y'all get to know me just a little bit better the basic stuff about me is the most important it's the small things you know it's the small things Nah, that was my last bite. Last bite, y'all. This might have been my best thing that I made on my channel so far. I enjoyed it so much. So good. Mm. And so the last question is, where would I like to travel? Hmm. Anywhere that has Jollibee. <laughs> wait, 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 no, scratch that, scratch that, scratch that. That's the greedy answer, y'all. If y'all haven't heard of Jollibee, go look on YouTube. YouTubers do like mukbangs of Jollibee. And I went there recently for my birthday and we drove six hours for just the night, just to try Jollibee. That's how much I love it. But I already tried it, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that for y'all. I'm gonna go to a Jollibee again. And I'm going to eat on camera for y'all. Somewhere I like to travel for real is Hawaii. I always wanted to go to Hawaii. I don't know why. I guess it's just the aesthetic of like the palm trees, the island, just being all cutesy. Yeah, Hawaii. That's somewhere I like to travel. So that was the last question. I demolished my food. I drunk my wine. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If there's anything you want to see from me, all you have to do is comment below and let me know and I'll do my best to make sure that is done. This is my fifth video. I'm so proud of myself for keeping it going. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And if you do enjoy this video and want others to see, you can share it as well. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Love you.